going on guys moose 78 back at you with another american truck sim video this is my let's play series stories in the road upload this every tuesday and thursday hope you guys are all having a fantastic day by the way and today I got something a little bit different a couple of you had requested that i do some uh heavy hauling so i downloaded uh the t800 from uh, gt mike got it specced out for a little bit of heavy hauling Went with a single axle, something a little bit different. Uh, I don't think I've ever drove a single axle, so this should be pretty fun. Got a nice silver metallic paint job on it. We are going over to Carlsbad, California today, uh, contracted run. So this should be good. Picking up an excavator here in uh, Phoenix. Moving that over to Carlsbad, over to Plaster and Sons. I want to get this thing fired up. Sounds pretty good. Get our wipers on because it is a raining. And we will get started. This thing sounds really good too. Pretty sure uh, if I remember correctly, this mod has its own uh, sounds to it. And if I remember correctly, I think I specced it with a uh, six and a quarter cap. So we should be able to make this right hand turn on red. Instead of turning there, just to make another turn, I'm just going to turn up here. So we're not weaving and bobbing and all over the place. Yeah, well, this should be a nice change of pace for us. Get out here and haul some heavy equipment. I'm just kind of curious to see how this thing handles, too. It handles a little bit differently because it's a single axle. Should be a good run. I keep forgetting, I always forget this, but uh, for whatever reason, the speed limits in towns in Arizona is only 25 mile an hour. That sounds pretty good. Looks like the rain's letting up. So that's a good, good thing. One thing I really like about this truck, got the rear window, so that's pretty cool. Let 
Guess we won't get too wound up. Plaster and Sons is just right here, so go in, get our trailer, and get to work. Gotta find it. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Just a little bit more here. Oh, yeah. Now pull up and straighten it out. should be should be be able to get it this time maybe 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 oh, way the hell off girl There we go. That is kind of different, uh, at least for me, hooking up to a gooseneck. Watch it get all coupled up. Nice looking little combo there. Get out of here and head for Carlsbad. This thing's not too incredibly heavy either. I think it was, well, let's take a look. Yeah, 44,000 pounds, so. Yeah, we got plenty of room to get this. Get this little thing out of here. Got all that cleared back there. They're good to go. of the building there. Man, this thing pulls like an absolute beast. That cat power, daddy. Let's take it off and 
third, and it was just no problem. No problem at all. Got a 13 speed in it. So a lot going on. Hopefully I can get a lot of content up on the channel this week. That's the goal. And yeah, there that's kind of what I was expecting. Got some Battlefield content to get edited up and hopefully out later on this week. Still want to try to get some Division footage up. Been playing it a little bit. Uh, kind of slowed down on the Division. Just been gearing up for the third season of the Champions Combat Series, which uh, kicks off in about a week. Whoa, hey. It's okay, everyone just roll right through there. Cool. But just doing uh, some pubbing and uh, doing some scrims here and there. So hopefully uh, get that up on the channel here pretty soon. And of course, another uh, episode of the Map Rescale series going up tomorrow. Let's hop out here and take a look at the truck. Yeah. Pretty cool looking. Using uh, Smarties uh, Alcoas. Kind of gives it that r big rugged look. Yeah, the usual three uploads. Then, uh, like I said, hopefully get some Battlefield content up. I have some footage I wanted to get edited. Get some highlights, uh, some pub matches, things like that. Then uh, maybe uh, maybe some scrim footage. Get that up as well, perhaps. Got to check and see on that, though, to make sure that that's cool, too. Ugh, yikes. Slow down. Make sure it's okay to get that footage up. out here on the interstate. Yeah, this thing definitely does handle a little bit different. It just seems like it handles a little bit uh, snappier. Which makes sense, you know, since it's a single axle. Also got a new uh, PC build in the works. Just kind of upgrade some stuff. Nothing, nothing too extreme. 
Gonna keep uh, my same GPU. Got a 980 Ti classified, so I don't really need to upgrade that right now. The cost of performance ratio to upgrade to like a 1080 or a 1080 for the win just, just wouldn't be worth it right now. And this does more than more than well enough. So, you know, for Battlefield 4, for example, I got the settings pretty well cranked up. I don't have them on ultra. It's kind of a mix of like high and medium and I'm staying solid 144, no frame drops or anything like that. And that's on a 1440p monitor, so no complaints there. Runs the division pretty well. You know, I'm staying uh, above 100 frames on that. So there's really not any game that it hasn't been able to handle, so not going to upgrade that, but upgrade into an i7 6700K Gigabyte G1 Gaming MOBO. Then a Cooler Master uh, Master Box case, Mid Tower case. Then went with a Kingston uh, M2 drive, so. Kind of been thinking about it for a while, decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on that. That sounds cool. That just sounds cool. So that'll allow me to upgrade the uh, editing rig and all that good stuff. Did get a slight update on the uh, SKRS shifter. Haven't talked about it for a few weeks just because there hasn't been anything uh, going on. Uh, the status changed from pre-assembly to awaiting shipment. So hopefully that means it's going to ship out here in the next uh, couple weeks. Been patiently waiting for that. Pretty excited to uh, get that in. Get that integrated here uh, on the system. Did see on their website where they uh, looks like they're hiring a couple of employees, so that's uh, pretty exciting times for those guys. And it does look like uh, they're doing this full time now, or doing that uh, full time now. Thought I seen on the website um, that they both quit their full time jobs and are uh, doing SKRS uh, or CSIO uh, Technologies full time now. So pretty exciting for those guys. Guess we are in California, so I better back it down from 65 Let's set our cruise right there don't want to get a ticket but yeah that's pretty much uh, everything going on with me right now just uh, like I said I've been still gearing up for uh, season 3 of the Champions Combat Series it's been pretty fun so far pretty good experience not played a whole lot of ATS lately. About the only time I've been playing here the last uh, month or so is when I sit down to record uh, stories from the road. Which, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, there's not a whole lot of content out for the game. I mean, we you know, just have the three states and the uh, stock trucks. So it kind of helps, I guess, keep the content kind of fresh. I don't think my driving suffered too bad from uh, the lack of play. And I'm still playing it, you know, once a week or so. So I got that going. But yeah. What you guys got going on? Any games you guys are looking forward to? Any games you guys are... Uh, Seeking a lot of time in to right now, playing and enjoying. Let me know down in the comments below. I know outside of what I, you know, the division, Battlefield 4 and uh, ATS, 
I need to get back in and uh, I got a bad habit of doing this, but I need to get back in and uh, finish The Witcher 3. You know, I started a uh, started a new game there a couple of months ago. PlayStation 1 Mile, but it looks like, just kind of glancing at the mini, that it's just a uh, rest stop, so we're not going to worry about that. Oh no, that was an actual way station, but it didn't flag us to go in, so that's a good thing. Yeah, when I first glanced out the mini map, I thought it was just one of the you know rest stop ones. That was the real deal. Yeah, I started a new uh, game on The Witcher Three a couple months ago. Got about eight hours in, then just for whatever reason started playing other games and stuff like that. So I need to get back into that, finish that. Wouldn't mind to do a let's play on that on the channel, but I don't know if I want to start another, you know, fresh game. Might just pick up where uh, I left off. And of course, uh, still want to get some GTA 5 uh, LS PDFR content up on the channel. Probably going to wait until I get the new system built. Uh, I'll be glad when we get rid of these freaking stoplights on the interstate. Man, that is just crazy. Going along, going along, going along, going along, boom, stoplight. But I'll probably wait until I get the new system built. Before I really get too much deeper into uh, LSPDFR. And I'm still playing it a little bit, trying to get used to the controls and everything like that. Trying to get all the key binding set up and get everything figured out. But I really don't want to install a bunch of mods and then have to reinstall the, all the exact same mods on another system. So for that part of it, I'll probably just kind of hold off uh, for right now. I had to move some cables off uh, the G27 shifter there. Still using, uh, of course, the directional pad for uh, the range selector and all that stuff. Cruise through in seven high for right now. And if you guys want to see more content like this, uh, just some different uh, loads and stuff like that, some different truck uh, configurations, just let me know down in the comments below. Glancing down at the map, and I was kind of wondering if we could have went straight there, then made a right hand turn. Ah, eh, whatevs. Whatevs. Not a huge deal. It's 
wonder how close we are. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Yeah, we're not too terribly far out. Try to knock this out in one run, I guess. Get through San Diego. What the hell is that guy doing? I thought for sure he was gonna ran thought for sure he was gonna run right into the side of me. AI in this game is just wonky anymore. Wonky, I tell ya. I could have dropped into something besides first there. And it's okay. Touched him. A little bit better there. Leaving San Diego, finally. Kind of narrow. Not much of a shoulder there at all. Yikes. That was... That was sketchy. Destination is just ahead.
wrong button. Here we are. A nice little run. Not too bad at all. If I can just... Yeah! Yeah! If I can just hit the driveway. All right, let's see what craziness they have in store. Now, see, with this, this should not be too bad. However, <laughs> my ability to convolute just about anything. See, these yards are just... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just thinking about how I want to do this. See, if that flatbed wasn't over there, it'd be easy just to, you know, circle around, pull up, back in, steak dinner, boom, done. But, here's what we're going to do. Carlsbad discovered. Hello, Carlsbad. So it shouldn't be all that bad with this little trailer, or this little truck, rather. With a single axle. If I get it wide enough, I can just squeeze by this flatbed over here with no issues. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Guess that wasn't as tight as I thought it was. Say typically when I do this, I got a full size truck, 53 foot trailer, and all sorts of insanity ensues. skip the parking. Not good debt. I'm however, now going to get all straightened out, though. There we go. That's the direction I want to go. Uh, 
probably making this about 17 times harder than what it needs to be, but that's what I do. It's what I do. Okay, get back in the cab. Should be solid. There we go. Kinda. Kinda sorta. Alright guys, that is going to wrap it up for another episode of Stories from the Road. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, I am going to cut on out of here. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for another map rescale video. Be sure to come back on Thursday for another episode of Stories from the Road. And keep an eye out on the channel for some Battlefield content, for some Division content, possibly some other games. But guys, until the next one, stay safe, take care, and we'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.